Welcome back to the go to source for cutting edge insights into biohacking, nootropics, and overall health optimization. Today, we're diving deep into a topic that's been buzzing in the biohacking community, Cystanch. Many of you have reached out, asking for my expert take on this intriguing herb, particularly its potential to boost testosterone levels. So, I did what any seasoned biohacker would do, I sourced the most potent Cystanch available and put it to the test. In today's episode, we'll not only explore my first-hand experience, but also dissect the scientific research that's been conducted on Cystanch. So, let's get started. First off, it's crucial to note that the existing research on Cystanch is somewhat limited. To my knowledge, only one clinical trial involving human subjects has been conducted. The majority of studies are animal-based, which means we should approach the findings with cautious optimism. However, the preliminary data is both promising and fascinating. In my comprehensive analysis, I've found that the research on Cystanch generally falls into two main categories, cognitive health and testicular function. Interestingly, the lone clinical trial on Cystanch was focused on Alzheimer's disease, which brings us to our first point of discussion, its impact on cognitive health. In this particular study, Researchers observed that patients with Alzheimer's disease, when treated with Cystanch tubulosa, showed no significant decline in cognitive function, independent living ability, or overall conditions. The study spanned an impressive 48 weeks, which is quite extensive for a clinical trial. This suggests that Cystanch tubulosa may have the potential to slow down the progression of Alzheimer's and cognitive decline. One of the prevalent assertions about Cystanch is its potential as a cognitive booster. The study we discussed earlier does hint at its ability to stabilize cognitive decline. However, it's important to clarify that this study involves subjects already experiencing cognitive issues. So, the question remains, can Cystanch enhance cognitive function in healthy individuals? While it's shown promise in slowing cognitive decline, it's not yet confirmed whether it can actually elevate cognitive performance in those without existing issues. Let's delve into the science behind how Cystanch might work. According to a rodent study focused on Alzheimer's, Cystanch seems to maintain both dopaminergic and cholinergic neural functions. Given that Alzheimer's is marked by a deterioration of these very functions, it's quite compelling to find a supplement that may counteract this decline. However, it's crucial to note that this was an animal study and we can't automatically extrapolate these findings to humans. Interestingly, Cystanch also appears to have neuroprotective properties in a rodent model of Parkinson's disease. It not only preserved dopaminergic function but also maintained levels of glial cell-derived neurotrophic factor. GDNF is somewhat analogous to brain-derived neurotrophic factor, both of which are peptides that support neural function and survivability. So, while we don't have definitive answers, the existing research suggests that Cystanch is a promising candidate for neuroprotection. It may offer benefits against the detrimental effects of both Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease, preserving cholinergic and dopaminergic functions, as well as levels of neurotrophic peptides like GDNF. It's important to differentiate between cognitive protection and cognitive enhancement. While Cystanch has shown promise in slowing down cognitive decline in disease states, it's still an open question whether it can actually boost cognitive function in healthy individuals. In the world of nootropics, the ultimate goal is to find substances that can elevate cognitive performance in those who are already healthy. While Cystanch hasn't yet proven itself in this arena, it does stand out as a cognitive protective agent. Beyond its potential cognitive benefits, Cystanch also appears to have a significant impact on mood regulation, specifically in alleviating symptoms of stress, anxiety, and depression. One particular study involving rodents found that Cystanch reduced the mobility time in a tail suspension test, indicating an improvement in mood. The study also showed enhanced spatial learning and memory in the Morris Water Maze test. What's intriguing is how Cystanch seems to achieve these mood-enhancing effects. The study pointed to a decrease in monoamine oxidase activity, an enzyme responsible for breaking down key neurotransmitters like dopamine, serotonin, and norpinephrine. By inhibiting this enzyme, Cystanch may help maintain higher levels of these crucial neurotransmitters, thereby supporting proper neural function and potentially reducing stress levels. Cystanch is shaping up to be a multifaceted supplement. Not only does it show promise in slowing cognitive decline, but it also appears to positively influence mood parameters, at least in animal models. Cystanch seems to have a unique ability to regulate neurotransmitter levels, particularly during stressful situations. By inhibiting the enzyme monoamine oxidase, as we discussed earlier, Cystanch appears to sustain elevated levels of neurotransmitters that are crucial for mood regulation. 
Stress is a complex phenomenon. On one hand, it can heighten alertness and focus, but on the other, prolonged stress can impair executive function and creativity. The ideal scenario is to maintain a balanced level of stress that enhances alertness without compromising other cognitive functions. This is where Sistanch comes into play. It seems to modulate the stress response, particularly in those who are overstressed, potentially improving both mood and cognitive performance. Further research indicates that Sistanch's impact isn't limited to dopamine and corticosterone. It also appears to influence serotonin and brain-derived neurotrophic factor levels. These findings are corroborated by another study involving a rodent model of depression, which showed that Sistanch increased serotonin and BDNF levels while reducing stress-induced inflammation. What's particularly intriguing is that Sistanch seems to function as an adaptogen, mitigating the hyperactive stress response. This adaptogenic property could theoretically improve mood states and alleviate symptoms of stress-related depression and anxiety. There's a growing body of evidence to suggest that Sistanch could be a valuable asset in mitigating symptoms of stress-induced depression and anxiety. But what's particularly noteworthy is Sistanch's potential in specifically alleviating anxiety. Let's talk about glutamate for a moment. While neurotransmitters like dopamine, serotonin, and norpinephrine often steal the spotlight, glutamate is actually the primary excitatory neurotransmitter in the central nervous system. Research indicates that Sistanch may inhibit glutamate release, making it a potent candidate for reducing anxiety. From my own extensive experience with biohacking, I can attest to Sistanch's calming effects. While many people opt to take it for its mood-boosting properties, I've found that it works best for me when taken in the evening. This aligns with a specific study that suggests Sistanch could act as an effective sedative at certain dosages. So, when should you take Sistanch? In my experience, it's most effective in the evening for relaxation. However, if you're someone who's grappling with high levels of stress or anxiety, you might find it beneficial to take Sistanch throughout the day to help manage your stress and consequently improve your mood. Having covered Sistanch's cognitive and mood-related effects, let's shift gears and delve into another intriguing area, its impact on testicular function. This includes aspects like testosterone production, fertility, and overall testicular health. In one compelling study, researchers investigated Sistanch's active ingredients, known as CT and ECH, against testicular and sperm toxicity induced by bisphenol A. For those unfamiliar, BPA is a plasticizing agent and a recognized endocrine disruptor that mimics estrogen and can inhibit testosterone production. The study found that CT and ECH were effective in reversing BPA-induced abnormalities in both sperm characteristics and testicular structure. They also normalized serum testosterone levels and increased the expression of key enzymes involved in testosterone biosynthesis. What makes this particularly noteworthy is the prevalence of endocrine disrupting chemicals like BPA in our environment. Sistanch could potentially serve as a counteragent to mitigate the adverse effects of such ubiquitous chemicals. Similar outcomes were observed in other studies involving diabetic rodents and rodents subjected to externally induced stress via corticosterone. These studies also found that Sistanch was effective in maintaining testosterone production, preserving fertility, and boosting the levels of intermediary hormones and enzymes essential for fertility and testosterone synthesis. While we've discussed Sistanch's promising effects on testicular function in compromised rodents, it's crucial to ask, do these benefits extend to healthy subjects? Fortunately, another study specifically investigated this question. In this particular study involving healthy rodents, researchers observed an uptick in luteinizing hormone and testosterone levels, as well as an increase in the essential steroidogenic enzymes required for testosterone production. But what sets this study apart is its deeper exploration into the mechanisms behind these effects. The researchers discovered that Sistanch effectively blocks the androgen receptor. To quote the study, Sistanch's active ingredient, ECH reduced androgen receptor protein levels in the hypothalamic nuclei by a factor of 5 compared to the control group. Remarkably, this outperformed some pharmaceuticals designed for the same purpose. For those less familiar with endocrinology, your body regulates testosterone production by monitoring the amount of testosterone circulating in your system. When testosterone binds to receptors in the hypothalamus, it signals the brain to halt the production of gonadotropin-releasing hormone, which in turn stops the pituitary gland from releasing luteinizing hormone, ultimately inhibiting testosterone production. Sistanch appears to block these receptors, essentially fooling the brain into thinking there's a lack of testosterone, thereby stimulating its production. Let's first draw a parallel with enzalutamide, a well-known androgen receptor antagonist. 
like cystanch, enzalutamide is effective in elevating testosterone and luteinizing hormone levels, among other sex steroids. However, it's important to note that these substances block the receptors that these hormones bind to. Given this mechanism, I'm currently hesitant to fully endorse cystanch as a testosterone booster. While it may have potential, the evidence is not yet robust enough to fully understand its implications. Therefore, I wouldn't personally use it for the sole purpose of elevating testosterone levels. Where cystanch does show promises in potentially enhancing cognitive function and mood, particularly in cases of stress-induced anxiety, and depression. It also seems to be effective in boosting fertility. So, if you're looking to expedite the conception process, cystanch could be a viable option. In summary, while cystanch appears to be a potent adaptogen, the jury is still out on its effectiveness in specifically improving testicular function in humans. If you're considering taking it, I'd recommend focusing on its adaptogenic properties rather than its potential to boost testosterone. And that wraps up what I have to share in this video. Before we conclude, I have something special for those of you who are serious about taking your biohacking journey to the next level. Given my 15 years of hands-on experience in biohacking and nootropics, I've distilled my knowledge into a series of books available on Amazon. These aren't just any books, they're a comprehensive guide to optimizing your mental and physical well-being. I've been providing valuable content for free here on YouTube, and if you've found it beneficial, here's a way you can dive even deeper. If you're committed to improving your health and cognitive function, then taking the next step by investing in these books will be a game changer for you. As someone with a decade and a half of experience in this field, you can trust that the insights in these books come from years of rigorous experimentation and research. I've written these books with you in mind, making complex topics accessible and actionable. I know you'll find them as enjoyable to read as I found them rewarding to write. Don't miss out on accelerating your biohacking journey. The knowledge in these books is the culmination of years of experience, and they can be your shortcut to success. Click the link in the description below to get your hands on these invaluable resources. Trust me, you won't regret it.